Hey guys, so like I promised, I'm making another video and sooner than I expected. I was expecting my package from Ulta to come in um, tomorrow instead of today. But since it came in today, even better. So if you're new here, welcome to my channel. And for those of you coming back, welcome back. Um, like you saw from the title, I'm going to be opening my Ulta haul. And you guys can tell me if you think I had good deals and then you can also tell me if you found some of these products cheaper other places and also um, I can leave everything in the description down below if you're interested in some of the products and um, also I'm probably gonna do a try on because I kind of feel like playing with makeup now that I'm getting it back into it and let's just jump right into the video. So, I opened this box already because one of the products I ordered specifically for my mom and then I'll uh, get into details about that whenever I come across the invoice paper. But this is just what it looks like inside, a little sneak peek. I have... I have let my girls jump on this because I know it doesn't quite pop the same way um, these do. But um, I had my oldest jump on it first and it was really super loud and it scared me. So I probably won't do that again or if I do I at least will be more aware of how loud it would be. It scared my mom too. So let me just look for the paper. Okay, everything is on here, but there are no prices, so I'm going to have to add that into the video. The first thing on here, it shows the powders that I got. That was probably the biggest, um, what do you call it, victim out of all the makeup that I got in my old collection. My daughters just dumped and dumped and dumped and dumped and dumped like 95% of the powder that I had. So I was like, I might as well get powder. I got them both from CoverGirl. And I got the Translucent Fair and I got the Translucent Light because I didn't know um, how light it was going to be. You know how sometimes some translucent powder like super super white and you don't know if they'll give you flashback and stuff? So I got two shades of that. You can see. And then on the side it'll show you more or less. Um, I don't know if you can tell the difference but this is the lighter one and this is the regular one. So I got both of those from CoverGirl. What else is on here? Real Technique. Okay, I got a Real Technique sponge because that was another victim that I couldn't recover. The sponge that I had got chewed up like a chew toy and so obviously I had to get another one. And this one I believe it was really cheap when I got it. I think it was three something. I don't know how much these run for originally but it was on some type of sale. So I grabbed this one because I really like these sponges anyways. And then what's next? Dark circles. Okay. So I got this um, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. And I have one in my shade. I got this one so I can try in cream contour with it. Because I didn't want to so much worry about having a big powder compact like I did. I had the wet and wild contour thing and it was like really really big so that was super easy for my girls to break as well whereas this they would have to like unwind the entire thing for me not to have any use out of it anymore so I'm gonna try this out and this is in the shade medium oh no that's the coverage it says medium to full but this shade is in where are you shade tan uh, hopefully this works for me because I don't I, I hope I didn't get it too too dark okay next on the list the next thing on the list was a moisturizing cream I got the brand sir survey I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly but it was a 12 ounce and it was huge it was like more than what I expected it to be it was 
about the size of my hand and it came up like this high and that i believe it was around 12 something so with tax it was only 13 something so that should last my mom a very long time if it works well for her whenever i run out of this one that i got in a giveaway that i won from kitty's boxes i really really like this one so when i run out i'm probably gonna have to test out the one i got from my mom and see if i like it since it was so affordable after that i got the mini james charles palette some of those who knew about my original collection i had the big one and i got rid of it because it was just way too big i couldn't store it anywhere and i was having trouble using it hopefully this one is not bad because i know whenever this first came out people talked about how the smaller one had a different formula like it was more chalky and stuff but this is the size of it so that's not bad like it's not big big you know for all the shades that it comes with and then comes with a mirror on this half i don't want to show you guys that and then i'll just flip this over here are all the shades okay so it has everything i can swatch some of these for you guys let me just put this up here so i know which ones i'm i'm going to swatch spooky because i mainly got it for the black shade spooky let's do b and we can do oh fallout in the palette already um let's do one two three five eighteen hmm, interesting it's, it's already falling out everywhere um do some shimmer shades we'll do wig <laughs> i don't know why this golden shimmer shade is called wig but and we'll do love that no it's called artistry very nice to love that so this is what they look like on my finger and then i'm gonna go ahead and swatch them on my arm for you so we'll do it down here nice definitely gonna get a use out of that black okay that is a yellow shade and then this orangey shade and this the gold shade and a shimmery purple shade so those are the swatches look super pigmented I should have got I should have got a makeup wipe first let me pull one out hopefully you don't knock everything over sorry for the sound as well grab a makeup wipe just wipe them off my fingers so we can compare because I did get another palette so we can compare the palettes I got that one on sale for $13 I remember that because I remember the original price for the mini was $26 and it was half off the Morphe palettes were half off the selected ones and I got it for $13 so I thought, hey, why not? If it is bad formula, like some people said, it wouldn't be too bad for $13. You know what I mean? All right. What was next on the list? Next on the list is Patricia Bright Sunrise Palette. I don't remember which one that was. That was. I think it was the trio yeah it's by makeup revolution or revolution makeup revolution london <laughs> and patricia bright summer sunrise i'm guessing that was the shade of this trio let me just open this up oh it has tape on it oh my gosh let's struggle with this a little bit tape okay 
got it. Got it, got it, got it. Dokie. Getting that out. This is the packaging of it. The like hard case, which I like. The gold in the back. This is one, two, three. Face palette. And then when you open it up, it also comes with a mirror. And these are the shades. One has a shimmer to it, then the deeper color for contour, and then a blush. So let me swatch these two. And this was the lightest that it had. Okay, so let me put that on as well. I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but the top was the shimmer, and then the middle is like the contour, and then the bottom is the blush. These look pretty. Oh goodness, I don't want to sneeze. <laughs> okay, I'm good. Yeah, I really like the packaging of that one. I like when little compact stuff like this too comes with mirrors because sometimes I cannot see that well in my big mirror, even though it's big. I have to be close to my mirror since I wear glasses and I can't, obviously I can't wear my glasses while I'm applying makeup, especially on my eyes. So that leaves us to one more thing. BH Cosmetics is the brand and it is trendy in Tokyo. This one comes with 16 shades. This is the packaging of it. Comes with one of these, so did the other palette. It does have a mirror. You can fold this all the way back. Here are all the shades. I just wanted a really fun color palette and I have not gotten anything from BH Cosmetics so I wanted to try it out. I'm going to swatch some of these and I'm going to be doing Emoji, Sushi, Wasabi, and Sake. Yeah, that's what they look like on my fingers. Really, really vibrant. So, put that down. It's the first one. Second one. Third one. Jeez, these are super pigmented. Fourth one. So, these are the swatches, comparing swatches. The yellow on this one obviously is a lot brighter than that one, but they're both really pigmented. So that was everything that I got. I believe with tax and everything, it came out to 74 something. Like I said, I'll probably just leave everything edited in the videos or if not in the description. And let me know what you guys think. I can't wait to put all this stuff on but I don't want to make this video too long so I'm probably gonna make a second version of it you know I'll do like a makeup look using the haul I got from this and yeah I'll be back guys I hope you enjoyed this video and since I'm going to be doing the makeup portion in another video don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so that way you are updated when my next video comes out. I love you so much and I'll see you guys later. Bye!